misses out of the zone. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. Grounded back up the middle. Alomar gloves it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is good. 
So one away here with the bases empty. And into bat next, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Here's the first pitch to him. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. Rizzo is undoubtedly one of the best hitters in baseball, especially against right-handed pitching. He tends to hit for both power and average, so he's certainly a big threat in matchups like these. Yeah, you could tell. He is just super confident against right-handed guys. I, I, you know, sometimes it's coincidence. Sometimes it's you don't see many lefties, Matty. But bottom line is, 75% of the time there's a right-hander on the mound, and this guy finds barrel consistently. The 1-1. One, one. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Popped up. Brett in foul ground, two gone. So digging in now, Ben Zobris. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. He looks really strong here early in this game, and that fastball is a good example. Put that thing in a great spot and right where he wanted it. A ball and a strike. Still a little bit early to be worrying about this, but in a two run game, a two out walk right here could at least get the tying run to the plate. And on top of that, there's some pop on that on deck circle. Zobris with a one and two count now. And an off speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Castellanos is after it. Lays out and he's got it. A great play for out number two. No picture. Yeah. Now in the box, Becker. Chad Becker. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Fastball on the first pitch and it's taken for strike one. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. In today's game, if you're not disciplined for striking out, why would you change your approach with two strikes right here? Expect this guy to try and drive the baseball right here. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off 1 and 2. 2 and 2 now with 2 away, and the base is empty. Kind of pitching him backwards in this AB. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Baez fields it cleanly. And he'll make that play look easy as the throw is in time to end the inning. and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. So the bases are empty with one man Albert. gone and in the bat next is Albert Almora. Into the box, Javier Baez. Now he's 0 for 1 thus far. Javier Baez. First pitch of the at bat. Ah. Now an off speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Yeah. 
right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Hey, as a hitter right here, you can't be leaning out over. I know those first two pitchers were in the outer half, but nothing saying he can't ride a fastball in right here. The 0-2 home. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. So bases are empty here with two gone, and next it will be the left-handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. First pitch on its way. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Hey, this guy has been locating his fastball all game to perfection. Talking to a number of big league pitchers over the years, they'll tell you a well executed fastball with good location is still the best pitch in the game. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. One and two. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. A ball and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. You know, they finally get the leadoff runner on. It, it would be sad to watch him waste this opportunity. Somebody's got to come through with a base hit. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Into the box now, Ben Zobrist. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. It doesn't ben. look very promising so Zobrist. far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. The wind up and the 0 1. Fastball called for strike two. He's feeling it out there on the mound, just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Hey, I can understand why he wanted to elevate the fastball right there. This batter's eyes have been lit up since he stepped in the box. Let's see if he gets him fishing on something breaking in the dirt right here. Throw on to first is in time to get him. So that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for out number one. Oh, I got a live one here. <laughs> First offering on its way. Line toward the gap in left center. Inciarte will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Now batter. Coming to the plate now, Albert Almora Albert. hit the ball pretty Almora. well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Behind 0-2 now. Punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. 
And he missed with it there. Ball well four. Don't it's a two out it. walk with yeah. the runner still at third. Decker. Here comes the first pitch. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Swung on and hit in the air down the left field line. Modi sprinting after it. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Kicking off the top of the ninth, David Modi. And they'll need him to get something going here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. The 1-1 one, one. is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. The count is one and two. The one two skied into very shallow right. Gwynn has to come in a few steps, but he has it for out number one. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Nicholas Castellanos. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. One and oh, the count. The one oh is in there for strike one. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers' pitchers like that one down and away. There's no success in that. that one two in. pitch is a slider that misses two and two. And with one out in the ninth, he's just now coming up on his 100th pitch of the ball game. Yeah, Matty, he's going to finish this one on adrenaline if he's allowed to. We'll see how the manager plays this one. I know guys like Dan Polisak were locked and loaded in this position. Oh, this, this is right now a dream if you're out in that bullpen right now. Your starting pitcher gets you into the ninth inning. The guys that if they do get up in the ninth inning, these are the best relievers, and they're just lurking out there. What a terrific job up to this point. First offering on its way. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Well, that was a big two out single we just saw, and for pretty obvious reasons. The inning went from totally under control Whoa, to now. Guy. He's got to deal with some dangerous hitters here with a runner on base, and this is how two out rallies start. And this is swung on and missed, so with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Cubs are down to their final strike here. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over.
We are set to bring you baseball from one of the crown jewels of the sport, venerable Wrigley Field in Chicago. We expect a good one out of this Diamond Dynasty matchup between the Buccaneers and the Cubs. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. At the plate, Chad Becker. And we are set for baseball here this Four evening. Menses. The first baseman, Chad Becker. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Aye. Laid off, first but pitch. a cold strike Seven as that caught the outside. Don't know what he's waiting for there. It's 0-2. Hamels has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. And our game time temperature this evening, a nice 74 degrees. Back to the fastball, but it's upstairs. Two balls and two strikes now. And he reaches out for one and may have chased it as this is skied into the air to straightaway center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Sees the ball well coming from that side. Soft liner toward first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Chad Becker will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. He's set. Here it comes. Liner toward right center. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Tonight it's Diamond Dynasty Baseball between the Buccaneers and the Twins. Going to be an interesting contrast in styles in this one as one of baseball's hardest throwers goes head to head with a top finesse arm. Next. Coming to the plate now, Chad Becker. He'll get us started in this one the under the lights. The first baseman, Chad. Becker. First delivery to him on the way. Eight. In there, and it's 0-1. 7 o'clock. This is hit high and deep back to left. Kepler ranging back. That one is gone. What a way to lead off a ball game. Oh, she knows. 